hello friends welcome back to another video tutorial in revit i am architect sonura i am from glad studio and in this studio video tutorial i am going to teach you how to import your sketchup warehouse model directly into your revit project by using a plugin so friends there is a finally a plugin to import your sketchup warehouse model into your revit project and in the earlier tutorial i have uh, made a revit to a sketchup uh, tutorial in which you can use a sketchup uh, warehouse model to import in your revit project so now there is a, also a plugin now so i will tell you how to import a sketchup warehouse model so for this you have to install a plugin called 3d warehouse importer which is free from autodex app so you are required to go to uh, autodex app store you can see here I will tell you and uh, you have to search on Autodex App Store and since we are working on Revit so you can click on Revit so what are, uh, whatever the plugins which are important have been released by Autodex App Store so I'm going to architectural design here and now we'll search our plugin so this is called 3d warehouse importer can simply click onto this and you can download this this is free so there is no any charge for this and you can install and after installing uh, you can open your revit pr uh, project and in revit project you are required to go to add-ins and you can see this is open warehouse so you can simply click onto the open 3d warehouse so you can see there is a definition for this opens a sketchup 3d warehouse in a dialog so you can just click onto this and you are uh, first required to log in so already i have logged into this so first time if you are using so you are required to log into your 3d warehouse by using your registered uh, mobile and passwords so suppose i want to um, import pergola so i'm going to search pergola here and we'll uh, search in our 3d warehouse and now we'll look so suppose i want to import this one so i will simply click on download button and i will select a sketchup file and now you can see this message pergola dot skp file imported successfully successfully so you can simply close this and close this button and you can see where it is imported so you have to first look on to this where it is so you have to see on your site where this is the pergola so you can see here so you have to just uh, make sure where this is placed automatically so you can simply adjust uh, by wireframe method and you can see this program is successfully imported so <coughs> this is uh, there is no any uh, variation in this model and uh, many times if you uh, import like tree or car or any other uh, detailed 3d uh, warehouse sketchup model so you can find geometrical variation so i will show you the difference so there is some limitations also for pergola it is there is no any difference so you can simply uh, render uh, in your revit project and also uh, you can play with graphic display so if there is a lot of geometry you can simply go to graphic display options and you can uh, simply turn off this or, or uncheck this so edges so you can simply uncheck this if there is a tick mark here so just uncheck this i will uh, tell you about one example so i'm going to 3d warehouse and suppose i want to import a tree i'm going to search in 3d sketch of warehouse so you can find geometrical error so uh, there is some limitation in this plugin so i hope i am hopefully uh, expecting uh, that they will improve uh, in the coming versions of this plugin so suppose i want to import this tree i'm going to download and i'm going to download a sketch file and now you can see the message 
this is imported successfully you can close this and you can look out for this tree where it is placed so you can see this is placed here so this is also perfectly uh, fine there is no any difference so uh, you can also uh, turn off this so edge line so um, where you can find that example of geometrical difference so you can if you download more detailed item i suppose i'm going to search for car and suppose i want to download this car here so i'm going to sketch a file and we'll import this we have to wait till it's get downloaded so you can see this is imported successfully so we look and uh, this is our car so this is also no geometrical uh, uh, variation here so can also play with this uh, in graphic display option okay and you can just go to edit and you can uh, uncheck this so edges if you'll check this they will it will show this kind of pattern so you have to make sure this is turned off or uncheck so likewise you can uh, use a sketchup a warehouse model directly into your Revit project so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in revit so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye